A tragic story today out of Daybreak, the Daybreak community where a neighborhood still in complete shock after a murder-suicide claimed the lives of two young boys. Yeah, police believe the boy's father killed them and then killed himself. Jeremy Harris has the latest from the scene with what we know about the little victims. The boys ages 8 and 10 lived in this home with their mother who was recently divorced from their father. Police say there was a past of domestic violence, but neighbors say they're in disbelief that it would end like this. When there's no words, small acts can show support in a tragedy. <laughs> These ribbons were hung by neighbors who have no words to describe what happened on their street today. We have two young children who are deceased and an adult male. Cops say a woman returned home to find her ex-husband dead, along with one of her sons and another son who only lived long enough to make it to the hospital. We don't know what led up to it today. We do know that they're not together. He's not living here. Police say there were no calls to this home today before the murder-suicide, but there was a history of domestic violence between the couple. There are hardly words. I'm rarely at a loss for words, and there are hardly words for how tragic this is. South Jordan Mayor Don Ramsey came to the scene to show support for the neighborhood. It's not something you expect to hear. It's not something that should happen. The family's neighbors say the deceased boys were friends with their kids and the family was well loved. The mother will need lots of love moving forward from what happened. This is just a tragedy on every level. There is nothing that's okay about this. We're told the boy's mother is being supported by friends and family right now. Homicide investigators say they're probably going to be here at the home until at least tomorrow morning. We're also aware of a GoFundMe page that's been set up for the family. We're holding off on releasing that information until police confirm the identities of the victims. And once we have that, we will share the fundraising information. Reporting in South Jordan, Jeremy Harris, 2 News.